Focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. Defining moment is here. The clash of champions beckons. After a remarkable national final, Tata Crucible Campus Quiz 2017 has reached its final stage. With the best quizzing minds converging from some of the most reputed campuses, the Tata Crucible International Quiz Series is set to recreate history in the world of quizzing. Five London School of Economics. Six teams from India, Dubai and Singapore will face off against each other at the international final. Now which please. team will so crumble under pressure and which team will hold their nerve? Who will emerge as the ultimate champion? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tata Crucible, the Campus Quiz International Final 2017. Hello and a warm welcome to each and every one of you. You're with me, Pig Brain, here today on CNBC TV 18. And you're watching the International Final of Tata Crucible for Campuses 2017. What started as an initiative in India 13 years ago has today celebrated a decade in Singapore and we completed the 10th consecutive edition in that country this year. And as we celebrated 10 years in Singapore, we start Crucible's journey at another region in the Middle East with the first ever edition of a Tata Crucible at Dubai. The success there is only encouraging and indicative that it is perhaps going to go the distance like Singapore has. But for the moment, with us here today are the top two teams from each of these countries vying for the honors in the international final. Well, true to an international final, there are of course the wonderful trophies for them to win. And they also win in addition to that an exotic international holiday for the two of them who get there to that title courtesy the Tatas. Well, the prizes are huge, the era is different, but then the battleground is also very different in this modern world. For now, we'll take a look at who these six international finalists are before we play Tata Crucible. <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, those then are six finalists here today on stage. Two teams from Dubai, two teams from Singapore, and of course, two teams from two wonderful cities of India, Pune and Jamshedpur. In the international final, over 7,000 teams have taken part just this year, and these are the six international finalists. Can we have a round of applause? Time for us to pick action on the first frontier of the international final. Six teams. One will stand tall as the international champion at the end of it all. For the moment, time to play the League of Legends. Here it comes. Well, like all of you have been following over the last many weeks on CNBC, we've got a new Bitcoin in this world called Krubits. That's the crucible currency that we have. The value, of course, is 50 in the first frontier. Two attempts on the buzzer. Whoever gets it right gets a 50. You get it wrong, you get a minus 50. Two attempts, which is for two different teams. So if you get it wrong, you can't make the second attempt on the same question. It's for the remaining five teams to attempt. So if we are good to go with the international final, time for us to get started with the first one. Coming up on your screens... Now, the term was popularized by Benjamin Graham and his followers all on the buzzer, all on the buzzer. Two attempts on the buzzer 
And the followers most notably include Warren Buffett. It's a principle of investing where an investor only purchases securities when the market is significantly below its intrinsic value. What three word term is this? NIT from Jamshedpur, the India champions of the block. The intelligent investor. The? The in intelligent investor. The intelligent investor is a good description of Warren Buffett, but a minus 52. <laughs> Term that is used, Armed Forces Medical College. Dubai were also on the buzzer, but a little late. Yes. This is value investing. This is value investing. Value of investing is another minus 50. Life can be difficult if it is all of you are actually working around Warren Buffet and not around Benjamin Graham. The first one turns out to be a tough one here today. The term that he coined and said, follow this principle, you really can't go wrong. Always create for yourself a margin of safety. That is how the world operates. Here's the next one. Two negatives, the two Indian teams onto a negative. We'll see what the international teams do. Here's the next one on your screens. Now, an aircraft company has diversified and got into creating the ski doos. They are famously called ski bombs. <laughs> NIT Jamshedpur are playing aggressive. Bombardier. Bombardier. Ski bombs from Bombardier. Plus 50. Oh, clever fitting. As we go to the next one. Hands on that buzzer. Here it comes. Harvey Kennedy popularized something called the aglet. In Rome, it was made of gold and silver. Saddam Hussein supposedly had one with diamonds. What is the aglet? Armed Forces Medical College. So this is the end of the shoelace. End of the shoelace is known as an aglet. The plastic end. There's a small little plastic that holds a shoelace at the tip of a shoelace. Well, ladies and gentlemen, gold, silver, diamonds, the tip of a shoelace is a multi-billion product. That's the world you live in today. Well, every shoe requires four of them. Multiply that with mankind on earth. Put your hands together. Wonderful 50. And aglet is a product that holds the tip of a shoelace and prevents your shoelace from getting really into bad shape. Here's the next one. Hands on that buzzer. Question coming up now. These are places to stay at Netherlands because they've got no use to this anymore. What were these that Netherlands is now renting out? Dubai on my right have gone for it. SP Jane. Is it, uh, is it these old prison cells? Uh, prison complexes? Old prison complexes yes. are today being given out as rent for people to come and stay yes, rooms. They are experimental projects that's going on. Crime rates are falling in Netherlands. They don't know what to do with their prisons. You can rent them and stay in them. Wonderful! <laughs> 15 to Dubai. Here's the next one. Hands on that buzzer. Overall answer is what matters. Careful. Here we go. <laughs> Off in a flash. Jamshedpur. 50 if you get it right. Go ahead. Uh, so that is the logo of Yelp. And that's owned by Yahoo. So Your overall answer is Yahoo. Minus 50. <laughs> Is someone on with a second attempt? Huge answer. Massive global giant. On my left, SP Jane from Singapore are having a huge discussion. No one trying. Were oh, they giving it a go? Go on. Overall answer, huge corporation in the uh, world. Is it Microsoft Corporation, Yammer, the social networking app? The Working on Yammer and Yammer, not Yelp. Uh, I mean... Yammer is a, is a, is, was a company that was acquired by Microsoft. They integrated into their Office 365 uh, suite. Yes. So, 
It's here. Yammer is our answer. Owned by Microsoft Corporation. SP Jain from Dubai, plus 50. Oh, well said. <laughs> Dubai are playing the game well at the international final. Their first time in an international final are Dubai. It's a new introduction for us, and they seem to be doing well at the first ever international final. But we'll tell you where the teams stand on the other side of this break. Give me just a moment, and we'll be back with the international final of Tata Crucible. Stay with us. Stay with us.